Hello YouTube and welcome for a new video. So I was on my way for a run and it started to rain. So I thought maybe I could film a little YouTube video before I go for my run. So today I was thinking to share some news because I've been training for a while now and I have a goal that is very big for me and I have had it a long time and now it is time to share the news. So I'm training for a half marathon and I was thinking to run my first ever half marathon in Lausanne in Switzerland and the run will be very beautiful that is what I know for sure because it is starting from Lausanne city center and then it continues by the lake and comes back and you will see the mountain view all the time and I have few friends coming with me and running with me this race my dad was thinking to join as well so we will see if, if my dad will join us my even bigger dream when I have first run my first ever half marathon is to run the half marathons in different kind of cities somewhere maybe in New York someday and beautiful places like Miami or I don't know uh, that's dream yeah I will be running a half marathon this summer and it was actually very fun because I was talking about training for half marathon with my friends and there is so many people who are doing the same even though I didn't know so now I have one friend who is running with me every single week for one day we do like a little bit longer run and we are training together and we are running the same race together as well and then I have also another friend who is living in different country than me uh, she's living in Sweden so she's also running the half marathon and coming for the same race we are running also together so we have a group of friends who are running and even my dad was thinking like should he also join us and come for a run so we will see if he will be joining us as well but yeah I'm so excited about this one and yeah I'm just so happy that I'm doing this finally because it's been one of my dreams for a very very long time I have always run about like 10 kilometers and my usual runs are only five kilometers so it is a big goal for me to run 21 kilometers in one race day so it's very fun and I have never even attended into a race so it's it's very great experience at the same time and I'm very much looking forward to that actually I'm also just so happy that I get to experience this in Lausanne which is a very dear city to us because we are living there for the next year and we were also living there the previous year I'm very happy to run the race in Lausanne and let me know in the comments if you have ever run a marathon, half marathon or any kind of race ever and what are your like tips for the race day and preparing and things like that let me know in the comments so I know how to prepare for my race day so what I did when I decided to run this race is I at first I was like I need a watch because I forgot my Apple watch to Lausanne and I don't have a watch right now I forgot it all like actually I didn't even forget that one I just left it there because I thought that I'm not going to run so much because I didn't do that during our time in Lausanne either so no I'm good I'm not going to run I don't need my watch I have my o-ring but no <laughs> it was 
the first week and I decided that I will start running for half marathon. So I really needed a new watch. I been thinking to switch Apple Watch for a long time because it's not giving a lot and I feel like Apple Watch is very fun watch to have on your wrist every day. It's very easy to use if you are used to using like Apple products and it is also like I think it's quite beautiful. I don't like it that much anymore, but it from sports watches i think it is the most beautiful one i think in my opinion it is only telling me few numbers and that's all so i was thinking to have a garmin watch and i went to the store i bought one but when i came home i was like damn i love golfing as well and i have heard that garmin has very good golf watches as well so now I can use this sports watch also for golfing, so that's great. Then I didn't buy this watch only for running, but I bought the Forerunner 165 from Garmin and it didn't have the golf feature. <sighs> so I was like, okay, I need to return this one and I cannot have this one because I really want to do golfing with this same watch and use it for that. So yeah, I decided to return my watch, <laughs> change it for another one and I got my new watch. It is a Venue 3 and it looks like this. I have white wristband but I think I should change this one for a smaller wristband. So the watch look like this. So the watch has very big screen, which is great. So it has touch screen, which is mandatory for me. It has very bright screen as well. So I can see everything very clearly. It, it's been so good. Yesterday I went to golfing with my boyfriend and I tried the golf feature. It also worked and it didn't have the wind feature in the golfing i think at least i didn't find it but i still saw all the meters and everything for the golfing so that was all i really wanted but i've been loving my watch and one of the biggest reasons also why i got my watch is that it has a trainer and you can write here your race day and then it will make you a training plan for your half marathon. It will count you days, how many days you have, how many kilometers you have to run every day and like what kind of workouts. It's not only like today you have to run five kilometers. It is also telling you the pace and like what is the correct way to train for half marathon and for that race day. Yeah, that's why I got this Garmin watch and I've been loving this one so far. Garmin has so many watches and it was so hard to choose the one. I knew that the Forerunner was not for me because I want to use my watch for other sports as well. And I was trying to look for another options and I came with this one. I came into conclusion that I really want to have either Vivo Active 5 or this one from Garmin that is the Venue 3 and because the Vivo Active 5 was a little bit cheaper I was like if this one has like more features or why is the price range so different yeah the Vivo Active 5 it has also multi-sports and the golf feature and very many similar features as this one but the difference was that with this watch you will get more features for your runs and i cannot quite remember what were the like the features but there was many features that you will want in your runs so i didn't choose the vivo active 5 but it would have been a very good choice as well but i got myself this one and I've been very happy with this one and I've been loving it so far. So if you have any questions and if you've been thinking to buy 
the venue tree watch you can leave me a comment and i try to answer the best i can about the watch and how it works and it looks like the rain stopped so i think i will go for my run today i have very short run um i can check it from here i will just swipe one time here for the left uh, today's run is two minute warm up then three kilometer run only so it will be very short with the pace between six and seven and then i will have two minute cool down that will be my run today and then i have run every single day until thursday and then we will have guests over so then i can chill for the weekend and also one cool feature about this training app is that you can also change the days when you want to run so if you someday have like tuesday that you cannot do your run you can change it from the calendar so you will still be able to continue using the calendar and the runs but thank you so much for watching my youtube video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment if you are going to go for a race anytime soon if you have planned any running races or anything like that and tell me all the tips that you have for the race day so i can be prepared as well so yeah i will now go for my run and i will see you in my next one bye